In this video, I'm going to show you the Nest Wi-Fi by Google. I will tell you what it is, uh, why I bought it. I'm going to show you my setup and I will wrap up with a conclusion. In my current setup, I was working with the Google Wi-Fi router. This is the predecessor to the Nest Wi-Fi. I only had one device in my house. This is the single pack. I noticed in my house the range of the Wi-Fi was not big enough to cover uh, the whole house. So that was a bit of an issue. So my apartment is about 70 square meters. My Wi-Fi router is about here in the living room. And I had the problem that in my uh, kitchen, right over here, and in my little office, the connection was very shaky. So when I was listening to uh, YouTube music or YouTube videos, sometimes the signal will drop. And also for my work in the office, the signal was pretty weak. And that has to do with the uh, signal of the uh, Google Wi-Fi router. Uh, also because of some, some thick walls in my apartment that uh, would also pretty much um, impact the range of the router. So I bought this device because it's like uh, twice as strong compared to the um, predecessor, the Google Wi-Fi router. It also has some major up upgrades in terms of um, the way it works. So it's not only the uh, signal that changed, but also it has um, quite some new features. So let's uh, have a quick look at the box. This one was bought in Germany, so everything in, uh, in Deutsch. As you can see, you have one um, little picture here of one device here in, in one apartment. That should work. And with the predecessor, it was only working, say, in um, one, one uh, floor. And with this router, it should cover like two floors. So as I said, uh, it should like double its uh, range. So this is the pack with only the uh, router. Um, this device you connect to your internet modem and this will beam out the uh, Wi-Fi signal. There's also packs with uh, routers and points included. Points are basically repeaters of the signal and the points with the uh, Nest Wi-Fi, they include a uh, speaker. And you can use it with, um, with uh, voice control and stuff. Um, pretty cool. But I just opted for the uh, router only. So let's open up the package. As you can see, it's a pretty nice box. <laughs> All right, there we go. So here we have it, the successor of the uh, Google Wi-Fi. And as you can see, this is very pretty. So right here comes your uh, network cables to your modem. And also you can put one network cable out to your devices if needed. I will just use it wirelessly. So I'm just gonna use the, uh, the um, network cable from the modem. I'm just gonna put it inside and beam out Wi-Fi into the room. As you can see the beautiful um, Google logo. So this is a very, um, almost Apple-like design. I mean, it's very minimalist. So let's continue. Okay, so French and German. And I bought this device from Germany because it's not available yet in the Netherlands. So because this is like pretty brand new, uh, in Europe, um, they only sell it in a couple of countries. And this is the um, power adapter. This is the cable between the uh, modem and the router. So let's get back to my setup in a minute. So this was the first situation. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to install the new uh, Google Nest router and I'm gonna put it in about the same place and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the Google Wi-Fi router so the the old device this one I'm gonna put it 
like halfway in my apartment. I'm gonna put it here in the hallway. Um, there's a wall here. I'm gonna attach it to the wall and um, connect it to the uh, power socket. So what will happen is this stuff will beam out the um, Wi-Fi signal and this device will repeat the signal. Which means that uh, I should have cover like in the entire uh, apartment, even on my balcony and even in front of my house. So what I'm saying is like, I think because this device is twice as powerful, I think the signal should be strong enough for the entire apartment. But just to be safe, I'm gonna uh, hook in this uh, device and this device will feature as a point. So this will repeat the signal that this device produces um, by being connected to the modem. So this one will go in my living room and this one will go in the hallway. This one will be connected with the, um, mode, with the uh, network cable to the modem. And in this combination, I have all the uh, new features of the uh, new router including more uh, security and this way I don't need to throw out uh, this one. Um, retail price of this one is still uh, quite high um, but you can buy it second hand and that will be uh, more affordable than opting for the um, Nest Wi-Fi points. So if you don't need a speaker then I recommend getting the uh, Google Wi-Fi router which will function as a point and just go for the Nest Wi-Fi router. So that's my setup. Um, one more thing, talking about the um, uh, Google Wi-Fi router which I'm gonna put, it, put up in the hallway. I bought this uh, device from AliExpress and this is how I'm gonna hook it uh, in the uh, hallway. So I'm just gonna Put it like so and put it um, on the wall connected with the uh, power adapter. So this device is called the uh, Kimi, Kimi I think and I'll put a link in the description and it has this beautiful uh, ring where you can put the uh, power cable seamlessly and then uh, you can put the uh, router like so and you know, I call it a router, but in my setup, this will function as a uh, point in the uh, mesh uh, setup. So that's where the power adapter goes. And this is the way I will hook it to the wall. Yeah, so this is the power adapter. You hook it up here in the middle. Very important when you have the uh, cable, the network cable for the modem, is you put it in the left uh, socket where you can see this um, image of a globe. And you have this very nice cutout for the cables. So now I'm gonna put this in my living room in about the same spot and make sure that it has like plenty of space to uh, beam out the uh, Wi-Fi signal. So don't put it behind anything but just put it in like uh, open space. The modem could look like something like this and uh, this is where I hooked up the network cable. I'm going to set up this device and I will be right back. I powered up the device and here in the bottom I saw some um, indicator blinking. So it seems that it is booting up. Now let's jump into the uh, Google Home app. So I just downloaded the Google Home app from the Apple Store. Choose your Google account, create a home, and you can give your house a name you need to um, activate the bluetooth so now it's looking for devices yeah so it found a device this should be um, corresponding with the uh, name on the back of your nest wi-fi router that is the case i just uh, checked it yeah so i'm going to create a new network with the uh, nest wi-fi because the nest wi-fi as a router is twice as strong compared to the um, um, Google uh, Wi-Fi router and now I'm going to scan the back of the device yeah so this is my setup I put it in the living room 
So this will be the main device and this is connected to the modem with the network cable. So here we have the Nest Wi-Fi. We have the uh, app with the QR code camera uh, enabled. Now I'm doing this through the viewfinder so bear with me. I'm gonna flip it uh, over and I'm gonna move my uh, camera to the QR code here on the back and that should do it. So wonderful, let me just uh, flip back the uh, Nest Wi-Fi router. And that should do it. Uh, Google Home wants to join the network. Yes, you can. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Now you can give your Wi-Fi network a name. Yeah, so I don't want to share any usage stats. So I'm going to just press uh, uh, no thanks. But I will... Uh, turn on the Wi-Fi cloud services. So yes, I am in Where is the device? It is in the living room continue And now it should create the uh, Wi-Fi network So as you can see the device it is working Let's run a speed test And as you can see here in the living room the speeds are pretty nice So that's it. That was the setup Now next what I like to do is I want to throw in my old Google Wi-Fi router in the same uh, setup to extend the range of this device. So bear with me. So my new Nest Wi-Fi router is running and I want to throw in my old Google Wi-Fi router here uh, to function it as a point. So let me just uh, throw it in the uh, power socket. But first let's go to the uh, app and select uh, setup device. Set up new device, select your home. Looking for devices, now I'm going to throw it in the power socket. So we are here in the hallway, I have this power socket here. I'm just gonna put it in, like so. And make sure that this part is all the way like so. So it's like pretty stable. Um, that should boot up the device. We have a solid blue here. So I had some problems with adding this device to my setup. And what I found out is uh, you maybe need to restore the device to the uh, factory settings. Here on top, there is a button. And what you need to do is um, take out the uh, power plug and press the button and hold it like so. Keep holding it. Put it back into the electricity and there should be a white light coming. Keep pressing this button and when it's followed by a blue light you can, blinking blue light, you can let go of this uh, button. So let me put it back securely. And this will reset the device to the factory settings and that should allow us to add it to the network. That's the device. So you see this name, um, that should be in the back of this device. Yeah, if you have been using the Google Wi-Fi router, the device here in the hallway, um, make sure to reset it before you start with this installation. Yeah, we need to um, do the QR code. So bear with me, now I need to use this thing to scan the QR code. So I need to demount it from this thing. So let's just uh, scan it, that's it. And let me just, uh, in the meantime, throw it back on the electricity. All right, uh, Google Home wants to join Wi-Fi network. Let's press join. It will take some time to uh, start up. Connected, so yeah, that's fantastic. Um, Use it stash, no thank you. Okay, where's the device? So this device, it is in the hallway and it will function as a repeater. So let's press Hall, Next. Turning on Mesh Wi-Fi. So to sum up, uh, to get started, reset all your devices, remove the um, Google Home app from your phone, etc. Just start with a blank sheet. That makes things much easier. Now, uh, we already uh, set up the uh, Wi-Fi Nest network, the Wi-Fi Nest router, so that is the new device, and now we're in the midst of setting up the uh, old device and they should integrate seamlessly uh, making sure that I have Wi-Fi coverage in the whole
apartment just to give some uh, stability and some speed this is fantastic the Wi-Fi point has been added to the Wi-Fi network so I uh, want to set up another nest device well if you have you can add multiple of these points you can add uh, all sort of stuff to your home but for me that's it so I'm having two devices I have the um, Nest Wi-Fi router and I have one uh, Google Wi-Fi router that I use as a point in this setup. So now it's testing the uh, connection. Your mesh connection is great. Google Wi-Fi router is in the hall, so that's the old device. New device is in the living room. Next. Stay in the no. No, thank you. Checking for update. Nest Wi-Fi is up to date. Okay, really fantastic. So this is my home currently. I have the Google Wi-Fi router is in the hall and we can do a speed test. So this is the new device, which is in the living room. Yeah, so that's pretty good. And then we have the other one, which is in the hall and it has a great uh, connection. So that's it. So two devices here. Um, I'm gonna test it out and let you know uh, what I think about it. Installation was not too bad. Just make sure you reset the um, devices and uh, follow the instructions. So this is the um, router here in the um, living room. Next we have the um, Google uh, Wi-Fi, the single pack edition. Here as a point, we can see the uh, white uh, uh, indicator here on the bottom, meaning that it has a good connection. And we have it in this uh, Kiwi mount. And as you can see, that works pretty nice. So that's it, guys. Um, I'll give you an update if everything is working uh, fine. I really like the Nest Wi-Fi router. I tried it a couple of days um, all by itself. And I had um, very strong Wi-Fi in my living room, bedroom, um, my walk-in closet. But the Wi-Fi in the kitchen and in my office was not as strong as in those other rooms. So I um, included the Google Wi-Fi router, the uh, predecessor to this uh, Nest Wi-Fi router, uh, to pair it up in this mesh uh, network uh, system. And it went very well, like the um, Wi-Fi strength uh, was really strong in every room in my apartment. And when I was like walking from room to room, the Wi-Fi signal did not drop. So I'm super happy with this setup. And I would like to know if you like these products and how you use it in your room. Uh, do you also buy the uh, uh, points with the built-in uh, speakers? Or uh, do you have a similar setup as, as I have? I would like to hear from you. And um, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.